Hi, it's Adrian. Today we're going to be discussing Genghis Khan. Was Genghis Khan really destined to be great? Was he afraid of anything? Are you related to Genghis Khan? Let's find out. Genghis Khan was born in 1162 in modern-day Mongolia. His birth name was Temujin. Now we pose the question, was Genghis Khan born to be great? At his birth, he held a blood clot in his fist. The wise men of his tribe claimed that that was an omen that he was born for greatness. There's been very little recorded about Genghis Khan as a child, but we do know a few things. First, as a child, he was deathly scared of dogs. His brothers humiliated him often in public. He lived through hunger, slavery, and kidnapping, which most believe inspired his climb to power. At the age of nine, Temujin's father betrothed him to a woman and sent him to live with her family. At the age of 13, his father died as a result of poisoning. Temujin went back to his village to claim his father's seat. The villagers refused to be led by a 13-year-old and banished his family into the countryside. It was after this banishment that Temujin killed his first person, in this case, his older brother. After Temujin discovered that his father's death was the result of being poisoned by a rival, he vowed revenge. When he discovered that his own brother was stealing food from his group, he killed him without hesitation. As a result, word traveled back to the tribe, claiming that because he killed his own brother to keep order within the group, that Temujin would become a stern leader. We're not exactly sure at what age this happened, but while his family was living on the plains, Temujin was captured. While he was prisoner, he killed the guard and escaped. As a result, his name spread quickly across the Mongolian plains, and soon he was famous for his courage. Now keep in mind that all of this that we have just discussed happened before the age of 17. When he turned 17, he finally married his betrothed, and her father gave him a wedding present of a black sable fur. It was this wedding present that soon gained him an ally and later enabled him to build his army. Word of Temujin's army spread quickly. He publicly called all Mongols and asked them to unite and help him defeat his enemies. Thousands upon thousands of people came to him bringing weapons, food, even their own families. Soon, Temujin had thousands in his army and under his command. Genghis Khan is known as possibly one of the world's greatest military leaders of all time. His army became highly organized and he separated them into tens, hundreds, thousands, and even ten thousands. Each soldier carried with him his own food and when food was scarce, they would open up a vein in their horse and drink the blood for sustenance. In 1183, Temujin became known as Genghis Khan. The Mongols gathered together and declared him their great Khan, giving him the name Genghis. Now the meaning of Genghis still holds some debate. Some declare that it means precious warrior. Others declare that it means spirit of light. One of Genghis's enemies was led by his boyhood friend Jamuga. When he requested that he surrender, Jamuga denied his request, resulting in a number of battles. After Genghis destroyed Jamuga's army, he sentenced his friend to death. To honor his friend, he requested that he be killed by being beaten and suffocated between two felt blankets so as not to spill his blood. Genghis Khan built his empire ranging from the coast of China to the Black Sea pushing north into Russia. His name became synonymous with cruelty and terror. He butchered millions and trusted no one. In 1223, 20,000 Mongol warriors devastated a Russian army of 80,000, soon becoming a big piece of Russian history. They fought their way through Russia, destroying cities in Russia, Poland, and Hungary, leaving only devastation. Genghis Khan is quoted as saying, all of those who surrender shall be spared. All of those who don't surrender and oppose with struggle and dissension shall be annihilated. In 1227, Genghis Khan fell from his horse, receiving a fatal injury. He died shortly thereafter. His last words to his sons were, With heaven's aid, I have conquered you a huge empire. My life was too short to achieve the conquest of the world. That is left for you. In 25 years, a small Mongol army conquered more lands and people than the Romans had in 400 years. Together with his sons and grandsons, Khan conquered some of the most heavily populated areas in the 13th century. In short, 
Genghis Khan conquered over twice as much as any man in history. Here's an interesting fact about Khan. In his lifetime, he never allowed anyone to paint his portrait, sculpt his image, or engrave his name or likeness on anything. Now remember when I asked you if you could be related to Genghis Khan? Well, it has been known that Genghis Khan had many, many children, although the exact number was never recorded. Recent studies have shown that 0.5% of the world's population, meaning 16 million living men, are directly descended from Genghis Khan. Which serial killer holds the world's record for most victims? Join us in a future video as we count down the world's top 13 serial killers by their number of victims. Is there a way to increase your breast size naturally? Or do you have to result to surgery? Join us in a future video as we tell you how to increase your breast size using natural methods. All right guys, thanks for watching my video on Genghis Khan. Please feel free to rate the video, leave any comments, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, bye. Genghis Khan was born Tamujin in modern day, no, no, no. Genghis Khan was born in, in ancient modern day, in modern day ancient Mongolia. His name became synonymous with fear and terror. Cruelty. Cruelty and terror. And then he trusted no one. They fought their way. They fought their way through to Europe.